when I was a little boy, I would ride boxes and laundry baskets and anything that I could sit in down the stairs and I would fall out too. But I didn't have a big fireplace to crack my head on like you did, so I'm very sorry. So did you have to go to the doctor? Other times I did, yeah. I had to go get stitches all the time. All the time. And that's okay. That happens. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to sew you back up, bud. And I think you need some stitches. So it looks nice. It's on your forehead. You want that one to look nice, okay? Is it in the same spot as his other one? <laughs> other side. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, it's in the middle. Yeah, it's kind of above your left eye where you got it. And your other one is above your right eye. So you got two little scars on your forehead. But you know what? All the little girls will think they're cute. No. I don't want to take it off. You don't want to take it off? Don't take it off, okay? I got gotcha. you. I don't want to take it off myself. I want to cut my hair so they think I'm a boy. You want to cut your hair so... Should we give you a little bit of a haircut? I want to cut your hair. Like mine? I don't think you got enough hair to have a haircut like mine. Did he say so that there wouldn't get blood in it? No, so that they wouldn't think, so that they would think he's a boy. <laughs> the doctors? Are you worried about thinking you're a boy? The doctors or just anybody? I don't want, no, I don't want any girls to think I'm a girl. Oh, okay. You don't want any girls to think you're a girl? You're not a girl. They'll know. They'll see that scar on your forehead and be like, that's a boy. He's a man. Are you my little man? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry you got your got your little day ended kind of crummy. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Are you brother. okay, Lincoln? Yeah. You've been to this ER a lot. He's been to this ER the most. For what else? For stitches and then for, um, he came here twice last oh, year for, for his breathing asthma. and asthma. Yes. Yeah, you've been here a lot. You know am, this. Am I going to get a shot? I don't know. I don't know. But I bet you'll get a sucker and probably a popsicle. Okay, well the ER is full. It usually is. Can Where you fit is? right there? I don't know. Are you gonna try me? Out? You bet I will. I wouldn't think of anything else. Come here, bud. Mom will grab your shoes in a second, okay? I'll grab them. Grab his shoes. I got your boots, Lincoln. Lincoln wanted to know if, if he was brave, if Dad could hold him the whole time, and of course, Dad will hold him the whole time. And Joel said, last time it was the biggest fight of our lives to allow him because he was such a baby. <laughs> In a box! Dang it! Did you crash? No. No. <laughs> no, he did not crash. Doesn't this is, look like this it. This was a successful all. landing. <laughs> he successfully slid down the stairs in a box. Mm. <laughs> Those dang stairs, huh? Look, it's like <laughs> it's, just one yeah. there, new one there. Did he lose consciousness at all? No. Did he throw up at all? No. no. Okay. He ran. said, he said, I ran behind the couch to cry. And then his brother told him that he needed to go to the bathroom. Because he was waiting. <laughs> so, dang, brother's tall on you, huh? <laughs> You're cute. Yeah, we could have mopped this up. Mom wouldn't have ever known. <laughs> Why didn't someone just bring me a band aid, right? Yeah, Is there black stuff yeah, in between you your got toes? A lot of toe lint. <laughs> Good thing we just clipped your toes, huh? That would have been embarrassing. That's how he feels right now. When we asked Lincoln Hello. how he felt, he feels a zero. All of the doctors were laughing at Lincoln and they, every single person that's seen him so far, four people, they're like, wow, he's a cute little guy. Um, on our way in, Lincoln said, cause he had his face covered and his hair was kind of like in the blood a little bit. And he said, I don't want them to think I'm a girl if they can't see my face. And the receptionist was like, okay, let's get her back. And he just looked at me like, <laughs> and then when we came back, what did the doctor say? Uh, he said, 
Don't ever cut your long hair. We love your long hair. We know you're a cool little guy. Huh? <laughs> he just like looked at me. He's uh, like, whatever. We might be doing a haircut if that's what he wants. Sound in pain. Oh, keep it on your finger. Keep it on your finger. We'll show Lincoln when he's cleaned up and ready to go, okay? Lincoln just told me he wanted to slide down the other side he's of the stairs. He's rethinking it. At least he's like, okay, that didn't Let work. Let me fix my let's, mistakes. Let's go back to the drawing board. There's a way to make this <laughs> cardboard car down the stairs yeah, he work. Said, he said, I'll, do, I'll go down the other side. I can't remember what happened to the other side when he got stitches the other time. He fell off a chair at Children's Place and hit his head on the edge of it. That's right. We will put a link for that video in the description for everybody. Huh. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? We should go home and I'll let you watch the video of when you got stitches last time. We have a video of it. Do you want to go home and watch it? Did you, did you take a, a video of me falling off the chair? No, I no, didn't quite get that. that. Should we show the stickers? They brought in stickers and she said, which one do you want? And Lincoln said, eh, I'll take both. <laughs> She's like, okay. We tried finding the vlog of Lincoln's stitches last time. It may have been taken down um, during like the YouTube sweep, so we may or may not be able to find that one for you guys. If it if we find it, if it's still up, it'll be in the description. If not, we, it was one of those videos we had to take down, which is sad because I like love those videos. But um, I was telling the doctor, I said last time when he got stitches, the doctor had come in and it was taking so long, and Lincoln was so upset. Was it that time, or was it one of the other kids? I, I think, it, think I it was, was that time. time. He would have been the only one that I can remember the doctor being. Yeah. In a long, long time. And um, anyway, oh, I can't remember if it was or not. I but anyway, he, used, he, we were being really nice to him, even though it had taken like like long, like a long we were a couple time. Couple hours. And he said. Cotton balls getting sweaty. Um, the doctor told us, he said, thank you for being kind. The other, you know, my other patient before you wasn't very kind and little did he know that I had just, like, I just barely lost a patient. And it made us so sad. I always think about that when we come here. These ER doctors, it's like, they come in here to stitch up a little boy, but we have no idea what was going, going on in the, the room, room next door, yeah. It was a really somber feeling that was, do you remember? I do remember now. I'm glad you remembered. Mm -hmm. Grateful for the doctors and nurses. Mm -hmm. Just watching a little sandlot to pass the time. All right, get your jacket on, mister. I don't need it. Get your jacket on. It's freezing outside. Turn it right side in. Let me help you. He's been quite the character today. And I never, and I never You never moved? You, you were very still. still. Except what were you moving the whole time? Your eyeballs. Yep. I said, Lincoln, hold still, because he was nodding his head yes or no. So he said, well, I can still move my eyeballs. <laughs> well, I said that. You did you say did. that, yeah. yeah. And the doctor was like, you have quite the character. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm not a character. Yeah, definitely. Can I watch the movie with the kids? When we go home, it's bedtime. Should we go show Olivia and Cody and Boston your stitches? Tell them how tough you were? Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. I mean, if we're, guess who, if we're passing through, why not? Guess who's saying and oh. Good girl. Hi. I got stitches and I never moved. And I never moved. Yeah, don't let Lady lick, lick your stitches. I got her. We left the house in such a hurry, and what did you say, Olivia? I was like, Mom, just go. I know everything. Just go. She was like, I know everything what to do. Just, just go. go. That was like a very big move for all of us. Come over and look. Oh. I'm so close. I thought I was going to come and cry. Oh, sweeten the band-aids on. I got stitches. Okay, so I want to know from your guys' perspective, what happened? Um, you were practicing. I was practicing and I heard 
I'm not joking. I like I thought in my mind in my heart I was like, Link, something bad's gonna happen. Cause I heard the box going downstairs. I'm like, Mom doesn't like that, <laughs> and it's not okay. Cause somebody's gonna get hurt with that wall, and then then I heard. So you tell me what happened from your perspective. I saw Link, and when I walked out of my room, I saw Link and coming down the stairs, and then I saw him crash into the wall, and then he was crying, and then I looked at him, and then he was bleeding. And then I called Dad. Okay. What did you tell him to do? I said, Lincoln, what happened? And then he, I saw him bleeding, so then I took him to the bathroom. You took him to the Good bathroom? Job, That's what you Good told job, me. Guys. But he told me to go to the bathroom. Yep, he said go to the bathroom. Did you guys clean out the bathroom? Um, I like took my hand and like tried to get it like out. Then Cody got a bloody nose after like <gasps> everything. What? I'm sorry, bud. Olivia, that makes me so proud of you that you cleaned out that sink. No, I didn't ask. Out. Is there blood in the sink? And then she got a bloody nose, and then he cleaned his own out. Really? I'm sorry you got a bloody nose, Cody. I'm glad you guys cleaned it up. Do you want to show the, uh, like, vehicle? <laughs> yes, I will. I will show the vehicle. Look at the close part about this is. What? Okay, I don't know if we showed this part. Um, Dad took Boston in to get a Lego. Be well, let me finish telling him because he had a humongo cavity that was filled today. Anyway, did you put this together by yourself? Yeah. Wow, good I job. Did that. Is this going with that? Good job, guys. I'm so sure happy to come home to you, kids. I Hope you know scared. that. Half to death, I was like, oh, so Lincoln was I. Lincoln just kissed Boston was kind of sad because he's like, I don't want Lincoln to have all the attention. <laughs> what? You little stink. Look at my sucker. It's a, it's um, a watermelon kind. Mm -hmm. So, nobody touched the mode of transportation. <laughs> this was the vehicle of choice that he came down the stairs in. Mine's a blanket. I like a Must blanket. have hit his head on Bad. one of those I've been waiting for corners. this. I know. Since we bought this house, I've been waiting for it. And then where was he hiding? He said he went behind the couch to cry. Right here where this little bit of blood And there's blood just is. this little bitty, bitty... Oh, or is that all blood? I don't think so. so oh, yep, that is. Yep. Aww. Aww. So he was like so bleeding So he back was there. hiding behind the couch right there. You know, that's not too bad. Mm. Good thing hydrogen peroxide takes anything out. Oh, this sink was full. You guys, I am so proud of you for doing what you were supposed to while I was gone and making me feel like I could go and take care of Lincoln. That was fun to be with him. You guys, I love you so much. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> I'm, yes, okay. You cannot jump on the couch with a sucker in your mouth. Or jump no. on the couch, period. No. And with stitches. Okay, let's scary. turn the TV off and let's say goodnight to everybody. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Do you hear that, kid?